Hi guys, uh, another exercise for Microsoft Excel. This time we are going to deal with functions and VLOOKUP activity with data validation. First and foremost, what we're going to do is just to format this one. I've already typed everything, but since I haven't formatted it yet, so I'm going to highlight this area from the very start of this column up to the end of the table. Then I'm going to click on Home, then go to Merge and Center. There you go. Same thing with the other one, Merge and Center. I can change the color of these cells to something like red. Uh, yeah, that one would be great. So I'm going to change the color of the text to something like white there. This one, I'm going to center this one as well, Merge and Center. Same with the other one. To provide enhancement, I'm just going to resize this one a little bit, then uh, italic. Okay, so let's start. First, we are going to format the price. So let's say if you are living in the Philippines, I'm going to highlight this area. I'm going to click on this part, this one, the number format um, submenu. Then I'm going to choose currency. So since we're in the Philippines, or I am in the Philippines, I'm going to choose the peso sign. If ever you're in a different country, you can find it from here. Okay, so I'm going to click on... Oh, by the way, guys, if ever you're not able to see this one, you can just use PHP or Philippine Peso. It's still the same. Click on it, then that's it. Okay, it has its corresponding decimal values. Now, to uh, acquire the total, first thing that you are going to do is to multiply price times the quantity so to do that start with an equal sign then click on this cell which is e6 then multiply it by the quantity okay something like that hit your enter key on your keyboard and you will be able to see the result now if you want to copy the same formula downwards all you need to do is just to hover your mouse over here until you see that your cursor has changed into something like a black cross then double click on it there you go now once you have noticed something like this all you need to do is just to drag this part so it's like uh, the values in here does not fit with the column of width so all I need to do is just to resize it like that or you can just simply double click there you go it will automatically resize now in here there's a remarks so if the total value is less than 1000 display affordable and if the value is greater than 1000 display not affordable so we have it in our learning material that all we need to do is just to insert a function okay so to do that click on this area of the remarks then choose this one this is called the insert function option okay so just click on it then choose if okay so since this is on if Okay, so I'm just going to double click on it there you go now the logical test will be this part because this is the total value so all I need to do is just to type F6 or just simply click on this then click on that one then hit my enter key on my keyboard there you go so if F6 is said less than 1000 less than 1000 okay if the value is true, if it is less than 1,000, then I'm going to type affordable. There you go. If not, then I'm going to choose not affordable, something like that. As easy as that, guys, then click OK. There you go. So as you can see, since this is less than 1,000, then definitely it is affordable. So again, I'm going to copy the remarks downwards. I'm just going to hover my mouse over here, change it to black cross, then double click. There you go. Adjust okay so i'm just going to disregard this area since i don't have any values in there and that's it okay so we're done with this part now let's proceed with vlookup and data validation first is we have the fruits number and we have the fruits so what is going to happen is if ever i'm going to choose a fruit number from here it will display a particular fruit that is in line with that so for example it has three then uh, the fruit is grapes okay something like that now let me do it for you guys first i'm going to click on in here then click on data then go to data validation i can click here then choose data validation this time i'm going to choose a list okay after list i'm going to search for the source 
So first is I'm going to click on this part. Then I'm going to uh, choose the source. Now the source will be this area. Okay. So that will be the area. Then I'm going to hit my enter key on my keyboard. Then click OK. So you will notice that it will work if by the time you're going to click your mouse over here, there's some sort of a drop down arrow that you are seeing. Then there you go. So these are the numbers that represents this column. Okay. Now for the fruits, we are going to deal with VLOOKUP. So to do that, first you are going to click on equal sign on your keyboard. Then type VLOOKUP. Okay. Now the lookup value will be this one, the fruits number. So you're just going to click on that area. Then again, you're just going to copy or type comma. The tab table array will be the table of, as a whole, okay? So you're going to start from here, from number one up to not affordable or the last part. You are not going to include this one anymore, guys, because this is just header, okay? These are the table array or the value of the table. Next is I'm going to press my comma key on my keyboard then I'm going to locate where is the column for the fruits now the column for the fruit is on the second column right it's on column B of course it is asking for a number so I'm not going to type B but instead I'm going to type number two okay something like that sorry for the noise guys okay then comma then since I'm looking for the exact match I'm going to type false there you go I'm going to hit my enter again my keyboard that's it so number six is orange so if ever I'm going to choose number four it's guava it's there then I'm going to choose number nine that's watermelon okay so that is how you're going to deal with the first exercise in data validation and VLOOKUP okay so subscribe for more updates bye for now